Hey guys, and welcome back. In this episode, we hit the Dampier Peninsula. We stay at Kuljumon Cape Levique for three nights and were blown away, literally by the wind as we were camped facing west and figuratively by the jaw-dropping beauty of the place. A short walk from our campsite was an amazing swimming beach sheltered from the coastal winds. We visited Signet Bay Pearl Farm for a tour of their operations and also joined local Bardi Jawi man Bolo who showed us the way of his ancestors and gave us some tips on how to survive off the land. We hope you enjoy this episode and we'll catch you out there. Okay, so we're um we're leaving Broome today unfortunately. It's been really good here actually, loved it here. Did heaps of cool stuff. Went to the night markets last night. Walked through the mangroves, had some food truck dinner, just got up this morning, just had a coffee, and now the dreaded pack up begins, got to take the awning down today. Um, yeah, and then we're off to um, Cape Levique for three nights, so that's going to be absolutely amazing, can't wait to do that. So here we go, pack up time. Where are we off to? Cape Levique. Off to Cape Levique today. 210 kilometres according to the GPS, fully loaded. Jerry cans, 180 litres of water, fridge full of beer, and wine for mummy. We've got some bait, we've got some rods. We're gonna have a good time, hey kids. I just leave a bit, a bit of pressure out of the tyres. We came across a real, real boggy section. <laughs> struggled to get through. Well, I didn't struggle to get through it, but we definitely had to put the foot down to get uh, get the momentum to keep going. And it was a tight little spot too. It was only, only one way, but there was cars on either side, so they sort of pulled up for me. Another one way. Just got to wait for this guy to get out the way. And then we'll make a pass through here. Got no idea. We only got one more K to go, but I don't know what the track's like ahead, whether it's going to be boggy or not so just put them down just to make sure we can get through no dramas here we go here we are guys call German Cape Levite Made it, Cape Levique, that last little kilometre was nothing at all, it was just a single lane. That boggy section got me a little bit worried. Yeah, but have a look at this, would you? Have a look at that. Oh. Can't wait. Can't wait. Here comes the little man. Getting a little bit testy towards the end there, weren't you, bud? Hey, we made it though. Yeah. Come have a look. Here's our other little one. Hey, Kooja man. Can you say Kooja man? Kooja man. Go have a look at the view where Cammy is. Yeah, it probably would be. Because um, you can go underwater and see all kinds of tropical fish. Ah, cool. Hey, look at this. Daddy, look at that. Yeah, it's a windsock. Let us know which way and how strong the wind is. Oh, this is uh, Sick the Bay Pearl Farm. Can we just come up? We're going to go and do a pearl farm tour. That'd be fun, hey, Miss Boo Boo? Yeah. Yeah, it was a nice drive. This is really nice grounds. Apparently, you can camp and they've got glamping here as well. 
But uh, yeah, we're going to do a little tour, and there's some sort of swimming, isn't there, Jack? And we go for a swim. So I'm going to flip that mantle tissue over. You can see that's got that kind of silvery underside. Mm. Now I can get to that mantle tissue. Can you see that? I can get to that abductor muscle. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to slice down nice and close, and that's going to release that. Nice and easy. You two want to pull each side and open it for me? Come on then, nice and strong. A bit more muscles. Oh, I might need me to. There you go, thank you. Got a lovely shape to that shell, a bit different. That's the inside of our oyster there. Does it look a bit like the picture? So these ones, um, it could have reproduced again. It's just that with the tourist ones, they bring in certain panels and. Um, the, yeah, we just get to harvest them, and whatever pearl we get will go into uh, the, the data of that will be collected. Yeah. And they'll be able to know because they'll have more from that batch yeah. out on the long line, so they'll then get an idea of um, what kind of pearls we're going to get from that and how healthy they are and things like that. Mm. Yeah. So you can have a pearl. It's just there. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite cool when you. Yeah, so it's just there. You can just probably see it shining through, like glistening. Oh, yeah. oh, that's cool. Do you want to have a little bit? Nice hard little lump. I don't think it's too big, but we'll pull it out. Does anyone want to pull it out for me? You just use your shoe Yeah, just like a spot. <laughs> for want of a better description. <laughs> There you go. Oh wow. Double. That's Ooh. different. That's a lovely baroque. Mm. That's cool. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, this is our beautiful bay. Oh, that's pretty. 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 So that's what a sixty thousand dollar pearl looks like, eh? Put your hand like this, and it'll just crawl onto your hand. Okay, um, like this. Oh, look, isn't it lovely? Oh, it's actually. Keep it together. Keep it together. Oh, this is lovely. I should turn it to the opposite selfie and get a butt. Cool. That's really cool. Wait for it to fall on. He's gonna jump. He's gonna jump. If he jumps, he won't have to jump. It's okay. 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 It's okay.
it's our first morning waking up at Kuljamon, Cape Levik. It was an absolute gusty night last night. It was so windy. The awning was creaking and groaning and the canvas was flapping all about. There was one section where I thought, mm, this is a bit dicey, but anyway, come and have a look what we've woken up to. It's beautiful. Other than all the sand everywhere, that is. So, there's Mummy and Jacqueline having their morning coffee. Have a look at the sand everywhere. It's all over the place. It's on the table. Perfect to play. It's all down under here. Perfect to play with. It's all over the cooktop. I don't know if you can see that. It's absolutely everywhere. But hey, have a go at that. I can feel you okay to our house. Yeah. Your house. Camping breakfast of champions. Oh, it's a bit windy. We're gonna go down and see if we can see some hammerhead sharks. So this uh, cliff top area is uh, sacred to the local peoples. So we're not allowed, um, not allowed to walk on there, but that's okay. We can look and admire the beauty. Yeah, I really want to get down to this beach and have a look at it.
tip of the cake. The one on the, uh, the other side now, it's much more sheltered over here. You can see the water's heaps calmer out there. I get a spot of fishing in somewhere later as well, which would be nice. Uh, yeah, the kids are having a great time, just walking around, splashing in all the rock pools. Yeah, it's more sheltered over here, it's much better. They've been sprung, they're all running away from their little meeting point. There isn't it? Just an overwhelming visual experience. Everywhere we've been, it's just draw dropping. Every next turn, every next section of rock you come along, every section of beach. Beautiful. It's a nice little walk back to the camper, isn't it? Pretty. What do you reckon, Jacqueline? Good. It's nice, isn't it? Yep. This is a pretty cool sign of the local people's um, season reckoning, their calendar, passing of the seasons. What time is it now? It's the wet season, December through March, and then the dry season, April through November and we're here in beginning of October, just at the end of the dry. A little family game of Uno with that as the view. Can you see it? You just can't sit outside because you get blown away. It's extremely windy. <laughs> we'll get blown away. So we're sitting in the camper for a bit of refuse. We're not getting sandblasted. Little game of Uno. Sandblasted. So just in case we forget, winning hat winning goggles Uno champion okay so we're doing a uh, a tour with a local Bardi Jawi man gonna do a basically it's a bush tucker tour uh, kids are pretty excited hopefully catch some mud crabs throw some spears catch some fish whatever we catch we get to cook up so it should be good fun so we're just waiting waiting for our tour guide now there it is there mud nun Banal Tours La Lumb I don't know if you can read that, I can't pronounce it I tried my best but there you go So we're basically just parked on the side of the highway waiting for him to turn up and then we follow him in our car I have a feeling we'll be going down this track here That's where I reckon we'll be headed Down there there's a couple of signs Permit required, four wheel drive recommended I reckon we'll be following him down there. So yeah, can't wait. The kids are really excited actually. I'm hoping to catch some big mud crabs. That'll be fun for lunch. Tasty. Anyway, I'll flip the camera around. Kind of in the middle of nowhere really, but there's an airport right there. <laughs> yeah, it's a sealed runway. Right in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, we'll just keep waiting and off we go. We're still waiting for our tour guide. Just knocked um, the tyres down to 25. I just had a little look at the track. It was real, real sandy. I had them right up at 40 because of highway speeds. But behind us, you can see a couple of other cars who are doing the tag along tour. There's a Jeep, and then there's a uh, a Land Cruiser as well. So yeah, should be fun. A few other families going along. Yeah, can't wait. What about you guys? Excited? Do the uh, bush tucker tour? Mud crabs? 
Let's throwing spears, see if we can catch some fish, cook them up on the fire. I told you. Oh, well, I think this might be our fellow who's just turned up. Bush what? Bush Tucker. Bush Tucker. Is that him or is that uh, just another tourist? Feel a little bit in. Massive land cruisers back there. There is a Jeep though, so I don't feel too out of place. <laughs> I like how it says full drive recommended at the beginning of that track. <laughs> and he's in a Toyota High Ace. <laughs> Half his family in the back. <laughs> Hasn't let his tire pressure down or anything. And here's me going, oh, should I let him down, should I not? Yeah, okay, I'll put him down to 25 just in case. <laughs> he comes straight off the highway in his van, starts trudging through the tracks. And I'm right, it's quick, <laughs> I guess that's a boggy section, just put your foot down. So we're only going to be walking down towards that rocky yellow bit. It's going to get a little bit muddy as we get down to where the fresh water is. There's a little place there, a like flat ground where you can take your shoes off. There you go. Nice and nice. Grab a couple, flush them up. You're supposed to give them to everybody else. Thank you. Get some. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Get in the shade. Yeah. There you go. Crush them up now. Crush them up and have a smell of that. This tree here we call the lunyamite. Alright. That's that melaleuca tree just behind you on top. And what the old girls used to mm. love doing is just breaking up the leaves, smelling it. This one soothes the headaches. Yeah, and heating it up with a fire so mm. Mm. Yeah, extracts the oil from them. So what are you looking for? So you know they're there. Now they're just going to be walking in the, in the water. Oh yeah. yeah. So you just sort of go. Found anything? And Bolo reckons he just saw a shark. Can you sit? No. Oh, yep, 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 yep. I got him. You guys got one? No, there's a shark just zooming along the edge here. Wait, a shark? Yeah, a little, little reef shark, I guess, or a little. Oh, can I see? Maybe. Bolo's just trying to attract him over. There's a little reef shark. Is it still there? I don't know. Is it a spirit? Maybe if it comes closer. Can you even eat shark? Yeah. Oh yeah. What kind of shark is that? It's an edible. We've got fish. It's a lunch shark, that's what it is. Oh, it sure is. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Good shot. <laughs> This one here is the lungin. They're usually about twice as wide, twice as high. Okay? And this one is used in that jalalai season. That jalalai season for us is hot days and cold nights. And that's all is when the hot days and cold nights come in, that brings in the burgad. The burgad is the dew. Alright? That's all it's designed to do. Get the dew off you. Alright? How it's facing? West, east to west. You can see now it's after 12. We got a bit of shade on already. You know, you're sick of the sun during the day. So we just finished the tour. The bush tucker tour. They're out there. They're cooking the shark. The bolo caught. Cooking the crabs and the bombshells. Yep. And now we're going to go for a swim. This is their land. This is where we're going. Going there for a swim. What do you reckon about that, Jacqueline? Amazing. And they're back up there. I don't know if you can see back up the hut there. 
That's where they're cooking the campfire. That's what we're going to eat. Where we're going to eat. And this is what we're going to be looking at where we have our lunch. Daddy. Woo! 